like I became a ball of light and I shot up into the air and um, it was amazing and I can't remember at this point what was happening around me. I was just became absolutely aware of what I was experiencing and I was when this happened, what I was feeling is total exhilaration, total exhilaration, like that doesn't even exist in this world. I can't even describe it. It's totally indescribable. But if you could imagine your most happiest moment and the joy maybe that a child feels maybe on Christmas morning, multiplied times a million, maybe that, but that's what it felt like. And going a million miles an hour, as fast as you can go up into the air. And all these other lights were around me. Granted, I wasn't in my body. I, I knew I was a ball of light and there were other balls around me and we were like bumping into each other. And every time we would bump into each other, it was like an explosion would occur. And that exhilarating joy in my heart would explode and it would multiply and it was almost like in my physical I didn't know if I wasn't aware of my physical body but if I were I don't think my physical body could have handled what was happening because it was like too much joy to contain in this body too way too much so it was something that is never been experienced that I've never experienced in this world and so if you can imagine shooting and I felt like I was in an atmosphere of space and go but beyond space like into a whole different dimension into a whole different atmosphere and it was unbelievable and and light was all around me but it was I knew that those other lights were my brothers and my sisters and it was just amazing and amazing unifying feeling and I knew I was I thought the rapture was happening for in real life and the next thing I knew, I was flat like this, and I knew I was before Jesus. I couldn't lift anything. I couldn't lift any part of my body. Um, I was flat like a pancake in his presence. And, and I can ex only explain to you what it felt like. It felt like there was a weight on me, a weight, a weightiness in the whole atmosphere that would not let me move a muscle wouldn't let me move and I knew that was his glory. His glory was all around me and I couldn't move. I was just like this. And I knew he was right before me but I couldn't even lift my head. And I knew he was looking at me and I knew I was being weighed and measured. And in my, there were two things happening. First is I was experiencing the, a love like no other to the point where if I could have just laid there and not moved and been there in that presence for ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, that would have been enough for me. That would have been perfectly fine. In fact, I would have, it would have been amazing for me to just lay there and just be in that presence for all eternity. That was, in fact, it would have been what I would want wanted. I would have never wanted to move from that presence. It was un believable like complete absorption of love and exactly everything above and beyond what I was made for that I was experiencing that and I knew I was completely known completely loved and completely accepted and, and wanted everything about me was being seen and loved in that moment and, but because I was being seen and loved in that moment I could see the truth about myself and that part of me made me want to weep because, and this is the part that changed me because um, I could see the truth about myself and I knew I was being seen. And I knew I was being weighed and I could see all of my life and he was looking at all of my life and even though I could 